it's Tracy Reed here today coming at you with an unboxing of my brand new uh, Hearth and Hollow collection. And if that name seems a little bit funny to you, it is reminiscent of Hearth and Home, of course. But in this case, there are cute little critters in this collection. So instead of home, we're using hollow, like a place where uh, critters live. <laughs> so this collection actually is probably my favorite fall collection of all time. I spent so much time drawing on this collection and it was such a delight. I'm so excited to show it to you. As always, there are 20 patterns in both Traveler's Notebook 12 by 12 and pattern card sizes. There is a whole set of 12 Traveler's Notebook signatures. There are two sets of journal cards. There are three sheets of stickers and of course a digital collection, a digital kit. So let's chat about the uh, patterns first. If you've been here before, you know my spiel, but the patterns come on 12 by 12, traveler's notebook and patterned card sizes. Uh, the Traveler's Notebook and the Pattern Card Sizes come on printable sheets as well. And so if you, uh, for the pattern card, patterned cards specifically, if there is an orientation that has uh, a specific orientation, so vertical or a vertical orientation in this case, uh, you get both the horizontal and the vertical card on the printable sheet so that you can have both. Obviously you get three by fours, four by threes, four by sixes, and um, six by fours in individual sizes as well. So you can print any orientation that you like. So let's chat about the patterns, the color palette. Let's look at that first. The color palette for this collection is just Oh, chef's kiss. I love it so much. It is a beautiful, vibrant, yet um, not too bright, <laughs> I guess is the way I want to put it. Vibrant, red, coral, yellow, green, navy. It's just, it's just stunning. It's so beautiful. My favorite fall palette and there are four different browns two are sort of taupey then we've got regular browns there's navy there's blue there's gr three different greens two different yellows and then three shades of like this corally red color so it actually shapes up to be a really pretty and subtle collection that um, will pair well with all of your fall and home and family uh, pages really well without any sort of like struggle. So <laughs> there are 20 patterns and this of course is a beautiful plaid. And then the florals in this collection are so pretty. This one has little uh, acorns as well and it is on that light blue color. So some of the patterns in this collection, I think three or four of them, were actually the first patterns that I drew and they are reminiscent of like embroidered tea towels. It's such a fun, um, how come we're not focusing here? There we go. It's such a fun uh, accent in this collection because originally this collection, before I decided to draw animals, was going to be about like spending time in the kitchen, which it still kind of is, or is food in this collection. But because I was focusing a little bit on the kitchen, I decided to do some tea towel sort of stitching papers and they're really pretty. Then of course I drew some sweaters. So we've got snuggle season, sweater weather, bundle up with matching socks and then there are leaves and mushrooms on this page as well as acorns just a fun seasonal paper lots of little doodled hearts of course you can't have a fall collection without a beautiful wood grain another floral i love this yellow floral with the white flowers so this is the paper that changed the direction of this collection. So I was drawing all of the things for this collection and all of a sudden I had in my brain, because I had drawn these frames, I had in my brain a gallery wall. And in this gallery wall, I saw all of these adorable animals. And so I had to draw them. They had to get out of my brain. And so I drew the animals, put them in the frames, and then I decided that there needed to be something else on these walls too. So then came in the embroidery hoops and you can see the st stitching detail on the embroidery hoops. And this paper just really redefined the whole collection and made it so, so adorable. 
Here's another one of those tea towel papers. So you can see the stitching sort of detail on here. Of course, we have to have a stripe. This is just a nice light polka dot. So talk, speaking of food, here's some of the food that I drew. We've got squash, we've got pumpkins, pies, hot chocolate. There's pumpkin, a white pumpkin with um, flowers coming out the top. There's tea, there's pumpkin pie, there's apples, crates of apples, crates of squash. Really fun seasonal paper. Love this plaid as well. I love ginghams. I love buffalo plaids. So they always make an appearance in my fall collections. Here's another floral in a rainbow sort of design. An argyle, of course. Another paper that I saw in my head and had to come out are these houses with these like colored dots behind them. So I love the way that this one sort of looks like a moon, but you can see I threw, drew three different houses, three different trees. There are also icons, of course, in the collection. Here's another one of those tea towels. I love this paper with the wreaths as well. This was actually the last paper I created and I was just sort of playing around with pattern and I just loved it so much. It worked perfectly to finish off the collection. There are words, all kinds of words on this paper in typewriter font. Our family tree has a few nuts, collect beautiful moments, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, celebrating us, family tree, enjoy the moment, seize the day, so lots of home and family sentiment in this fall collection, which I think will really take us in through November and into December really well. And then one more beautiful plaid. So pretty. Oh, I just love this collection so much. So let's look at, where did my stuff go? Here it is. Let's look at the cards next. So there are three different sizes of cards. There's three by fours, four by sixes, and traveler's notebook size cards. There are two sets of three by four, four by six packs, two four by sixes, and eight three by fours in each pack. So this one right here, this is pack number one, journal card set number one. So again with the gallery wall, love it. And then the stump with the flowers and the mushrooms growing out of it journal card. So this says, if you ever feel alone, you can always come back home. <laughs> Vases with florals in the bottom. Let's snuggle. Fall embroidery hoop with another one of those wreaths. There are three different wreaths in this collection. This one's the more fallish of the three. Journaling card with that hand-drawn, um, frame, floral in the bottom, label, so gorgeous, and this is pronounced huga. I'm finally learning it, and this is the definition of huga, which is a quality of coziness and comfortable conviviality that engenders a feeling of contentment or well-being, perfect for this collection. The second set of cards has another two four by sixes. So this one says there's no place like home. And then this one says gather. So that can take you in through your Thanksgiving pictures as well. I had to do a shout out to gratitude, even though I really didn't want this to be a gratitude specific collection. There are a few references if you're using it in your gratitude journal. So this says gratitude in all things quality time together, another one of those hand-drawn frames for a journal card, family, so we got a definition of family here, a community of people who love and support each other, laugh together, and pick each other up when they're down, and I decided to include apples on this card because apples and trees and all of that, <laughs> sweet, let's eat, happy list rather than a gratitude list, so can be used for multiple things. I loved this uh, journaling card with these frames on here. I thought it would be fun to like add a little icons to these little frames. And together is a place we'll never take for granted again with some of that embroidery detail. The third set of cards is the Traveler's Notebook sized cards. 
So this is a mix of designer cards, alternate patterns, and um, journaling cards. So this says home sweet home with those three houses on there. Let's stay in warm and cozy in our den, which makes a reference to all of these animal icons. Of course, if you have a den, it works for you too. <laughs> journaling card with the pumpkin wreath at the bottom. Journaling card with the sweater paper at the bottom. I like how they're kind of swirling. Alternate on this floral with pink in the background instead of yellow. These are the days I cherish most. Alternate floral with uh, navy in the background. Gallery wall. Looks like wallpaper in the background. I had fun with that one. Journaling card with florals. Thankful embroidery hoop. I could not resist a wood grain rainbow. Of course I could not. And lastly, another journaling card. This one with a place for you to add a title as well. So those are all of the cards in the Hearth and Hollow collection. I did not cut the stickers yet so that they would be easier to show you guys. So there are three sheets of stickers. There's this first sheet that has all of the um, journaling bits and tabs and word bits and some hearts as well. These are wood grain. Having someone to love is a family. Having somewhere to go is a home. Having both is a blessing. Every leaf speaks bliss to me, fluttering from the autumn tree. Another gorgeous day. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. So lots of family and home and some fall sentiment as well. Then there are two sheets of icons. This first sheet, oh, this is the, this is the third sheet. So this third sheet has the majority of the um, illustrations on it. It's got all three houses. It's got all three trees and all of the, let's back up a little bit huh, so you can see. All of the wreaths and the embroidery hoops, all of the fun icons, there are sweaters, there are gourds, mushrooms, apples, pumpkins. I tried not to focus too much on your traditional fall iconography, uh, just so that there would be a little bit more variation in this collection. So there's like soup, <laughs> all kinds of things. The second sheet is, <laughs> Okay, so obviously it's got all of the florals on it, but you guys, I had so much fun with these tags. So I wanted to include the animals in a it, on the sheet in a way that like made sense for me because I don't actually use a lot of animals in my scrapbooking, but if they make a reference to something else, then they make more sense to me. So I decided to put them all on tags and create like little phrases for them. So we've got tis the season to hibernate. Every family has a few nuts. I can't see me loving no bunny but you. I love my pack. And then let's get cozy together in our den. So it makes sense with the animals and it also makes sense with like family and home as well. All right, so that is the printable part of the Hearth and Hollow collection. Let's hop on over to the digital part of the Hearth and Hollow collection. So I'm actually super excited about the digital kits for the Hearth and Hollow collection. It, it contains so much fun stuff, including sweater textures and glittery flowers and enamel and newsprint and corduroy leaves. And it's just so fun. I actually, this is the most ha fun I've had um, on a digital kit in a long time. I just really went all in and enjoyed myself. There are 125 embellishments in this collection. I often get asked if the digital kit is just all of the uh, cards and everything that are offered separately. The answer is no, the digital kit is a completely separate product from the cards and stickers and everything else does include the 12 by 12 papers, but the embellishments in the digital kit are um, sort of geared more towards digital scrapbookers who like to have faux textures in their scrapbooking since they are not scrapbooking with paper. So you can definitely still print out the embellishments in the digital kit. I often do, um, but they do not come on printable sheets and it is not the same 
like there are the same icons but they are done in a different way so if you're just looking for stickers to print and cut and use in your paper scrapbooking you'll want to pick up the sticker collection if you're looking for more of this texture then you're gonna want to pick up the digital kit as well so that is it for this video if you enjoyed it I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up if you're new here go ahead and subscribe I would love to have you if you are watching this the weekend of October 29th 2021 this collection is on sale for 25% off all weekend long there is a link in the description box below where you can hop on over and pick it up while it's on sale if you are not watching this on debut weekend it is still in the store if you are interested in it so you can click that link as well I will see you again next time all right thank you